Candidiasis is a fungal infection caused by yeast. Candidiasis comes in three types, oral, esophageal, and vaginal. Now, let's focus on the oral candidiasis, which is the most common mycotic infection and is predominantly caused by candida albicans. The candidal organisms are present in the oral cavity, digestive tract, and vaginal tract. Candida exists in three forms, yeast, hyphal, and chlamydospores, but only the hyphal form is the pathogenic. Candida lives as a commensal, but when it gets favorable climate, it transforms into pathogenic form. Occurrence of candidiasis has increased since prevalent use of antibiotics and corticosteroids which destroys the normal inherent bacterial flora, pathogenesis, and clinical manifestations. Local predisposing factors of oral candidiasis are wearing dentures, smoking, steroidal inhalers, imbalance of the oral microflora, quantity and quality of saliva, and poor oral hygiene. General predisposing factors are when a person is immunosuppressed on antibiotic use, has malignancies, and even endocrine disorders. Candida albicans, an opportunistic pathogenic yeast, is the most common cause of oral candidiasis and has three major types. One is pseudomembranous, second is erythematous, and last, the hyperplastic type. All of these will eventually lead to oral lesions, which has the classical characteristics of white cheesy or curd-like plaques which may be seen on the tongue, buccal mucosa, gingiva, and lips. The drug of choice for this condition is nistatin, and its mechanism of action would be The cell membrane of a fungal cell has the so-called ergosterols where the drug nistatin has greater affinity to, compared to the human cell membrane sterols. The result of nistatin and ergosterol binding impairs the membrane integrity of the fungal cell, resulting to loss of intracellular potassium and other cellular contents. Bacteria does not have sterols in their cell membrane. That's why nistatin is ineffective against these class of organisms. Adverse effects of nistatin is usually rare. Some adverse effects are chills, clay stools, dizziness, fast heartbeat, fever, and rashes. Toxicity from orally administered nistatin is extremely low. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and oral irritation have been reported with oral nistatin therapy. Contraindications Nistatin topical preparations are contraindicated in patients with a history of hypersensitivity to any of their components. Alternative drugs Alternative drugs for oral candidiasis are fluconazole oral suspension administered in a dosage of 10 mg per ml for 7 or 14 days. Another is meconazole in a gel form, applying directly on the affected area at doses of 200 to 500 mg per day, divided into 4 times. And lastly, meconazole, 50 mg mucoadhesive buccal tablet taken once a day, applied in the upper gum region just above the right and left incisor.